Here's how to use ChatGPT on iPhone 3. Write a 300 word blog post on the top 5 performance cars. The AI chatbot will then generate a unique blog post drawing on its superpowered database of knowledge. And you could even publish this to make money with ChatGPT. Now I'll show you how to access and log into ChatGPT on iPhone and it will only take you 2 minutes. There isn't a native ChatGPT iPhone app to download yet, so we'll need to access it inside a web browser. Although in a different video, I do show you how to quickly create a ChatGPT iPhone shortcut app to download it onto your phone. So check that out next. For now though, let's continue with the how to use ChatGPT on iPhone tutorial. And please, if you do learn anything in this video, please help me out with a like below. It only takes you two seconds. Thank you. So open up a web browser and head over to openai.com. Here's the web page for OpenAI. They've got a few different products, but we want to go with ChatGPT. So click up the top, try ChatGPT. You're then presented with an option to either log in or sign up. I've already got an account, uh, but what I'm going to do here today is create a new account so you can see how to use ChatGPT on iPhone. Click sign up. Then you'll need to go ahead and put in your email address and then tap continue. Then go ahead and create a password. Just make sure that it's at least eight characters long and then press continue. Next it will go ahead and ask you to verify your email. So here is the email OpenAI has sent me to verify my ChatGPT account. So I'll go ahead and click verify email address. There we go, that's good news. Email is verified. So now I need to go back and log in. I'll put in my email address again. Select I'm not a robot. Choose the traffic lights here. And now it's authenticated that I'm not a robot again, which is the message it was saying before. Tap continue. Enter my password here. And then tap continue. Now it's asking for my personal details. And I'll put in my name and press continue. Now it's asking me to verify my phone number just to further prove that I'm not a human and that I haven't got too many accounts already because you're only allowed to have two accounts per phone number. Then I'll click send code and it will send a verification to my phone to make sure that I am a human. So I'll go ahead and put in the number that has just been sent, six digits. And here we are, we're logged inside ChatGPT. We've got some info and a little disclaimer here. Let's click next. And talking about how we collect data. So some conversations may be reviewed by their AI trainers to improve their systems. And it's saying, please don't share any sensitive information in your conversations. And of course they'd love our feedback. They've got a Discord server there. And here we go. So here is the ChatGPT interface. We've got uh, some notes here on what the capabilities of the app are and some limitations. Down the bottom, we've got where we put our requests for what we want ChatGPT to produce for us. And up the top, we've got the sidebar where eventually we'll have some chat history here. Sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. We've got the option for dark mode if we want. There's the link for the Discord. We've got the frequently asked questions and then you can log out here. At this point, this button here doesn't do anything so we'll leave that alone. Now we can go ahead and type in some inputs or ask some questions of ChatGPT. Here are some examples I've come up with before. A Facebook ad, an essay, a joke, or a video script. And for this one, I'll go ahead and send that off to ChatGPT, and this is how it works. It will take your prompt and go ahead and write what you asked it to. In this case, it's gonna do a 300 word blog post on the top five performance cars. Some quite good cars there. I've been really interested in the Teslas lately, so it's good to see that made the list. And at the top here, you can see it's giving me the title above of what that chat input was. And in the sidebar here, you can see the chat GPT history. At any time, we can go ahead and click clear conversations and confirm that. And then it will clear the history as well as 
the history in the actual page. Now you know how to use ChatGPT on iPhone free, watch this video next to learn how to download ChatGPT app on iPhone via a shortcut. It means you can have ChatGPT right at your fingertips, so tap that and I'll see you there.